Yeah, ASDA has a proud long Yorkshire heritage, as you say, and I can absolutely reassure you that ASDA will stay with its roots and its headquarters firmly um, in Yorkshire. I'm a proud Yorkshireman and I'm pleased to be able to say that. Now look, contrary to a lot of speculation over the weekend, there are no planned store closures as a result of this announcement today. Look, the CMA, the regulator, is there to protect the interests of customers, and that's why we believe this is a good deal. They will take their time. We think this will probably take 18 months for them to assess the proposal, but we're very confident. As you'd imagine, we've done our homework, and we're very confident this is a good deal because we know it's a great deal for customers. Uh, one of the key opportunities this merger gives us is to invest in price across both brands. Um, so we intend our aim is to reduce the price of basic weekly everyday items by around 10%. Well, it's a moment in time, so as I say, it's two well-established brands with, um, with very similar cultures uh, and colleagues at the heart, uh, but we also have a great complementary geography, so we have stores of round about the same size. Um, we're both national companies, but Sainsbury's have, has its heartland and its strength in the south, whereas Asda has its strength um, in particular across the north, um, Scotland and Wales. So the two complement each other well. Uh, Brexit hasn't influenced the decision at all. Um, Brexit is, is out there for everybody, but it's not something that's been part of this thinking at all.